Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I shall be building a couple of the iconic World War 1 tanks uh, meaning the Renault FT and the British Mark 1 tank so uh, I decided that these are both uh, quite small builds and so I decided to include them in a single video uh, so hopefully you will enjoy so here we go okay so of course uh, the Renault FT uh, is the probably the first light tank in the world it was a quite a successful tank actually um, it has a revolving turret uh, that is the one of the main reasons of its uh, success so we're gonna be building that one first uh, later on, uh, if you stay tuned, you'll be able to see the build of the Mark I British tank or the mother. Alright, so let's go ahead and build this thing. So, uh, we're gonna start with the tread, of course. The Renault has a sort of uh, interesting sort of shape of treads, so we're gonna go for some wheels first. Uh, we're gonna space them two blocks apart, like so, uh, and then we're gonna connect them with some stone slabs, like so, and in between as well. Like that. Then we're gonna add some more. Uh, the wheels are, of course, made out of polished on the side. Okay. So now that we've uh, done that, we can continue with the treads. So we're gonna add some um, black wool to the front here and to the top like so and one to the back then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so one front two to the top and one to the back the rest is gonna be covered with black carpet um, on the bottom as well like so and of course on the other side just the same okay so we have our basic tread pattern here uh, now these are uh, a bit different than the the real ones. Uh, I cannot really fit anything in between these two uh, carpets, so I can't really uh, fit the roller uh, bar thingy. But I think it looks pretty good. So anyway, we're gonna roll with it. Uh, hopefully, uh, it looks close enough. So that's pretty much it for the threads, as I said. And now we're gonna move on to the actual tank body. Uh, we're gonna use some brown hardened clay and some green hardened clay uh, to make a sort of camel pattern. Uh, and we're gonna start at the front here. Let's put down some some uh, clay. So, and then uh, we're gonna just continue. So, uh, we're just gonna fill the bottom here with. The, um, with the clay and uh, okay that's pretty good this one's gonna be a bit more green which is fine uh, okay so now we've got a nice little platform on the bottom we can add uh, some stuff to the, to the top so we're gonna add a turret uh, we're gonna have it sort of here some brown ones like that. So that is our turret, and then we're gonna have um, some carpet on top uh, to make it uh, look uh, a bit different. So like that, and uh, I need the uh, brown carpet as well. Now uh, on the bo on the body, so not on the uh, turret. Uh, I put some uh, I put some carpet as well uh, I'm not sure if I'll do the uh, if I'll do that for the for this one uh, you can see that that it is uh, made on that one I think this one's pretty good as it is so I'm just gonna leave it uh, so anyway uh, we have our blank turret now we're gonna have to uh, give it uh, some guns of course uh, we're gonna use some end rods for that purpose so we're gonna put one 
right on the left hand side there so on the right hand side if you're facing this way and then we're gonna have also a uh, a lever if I can find one uh, and this one's gonna be uh, on the other block so right next to it uh, okay so we have our turret pretty much done uh, I can also add some uh, item frames to the uh, wheels like so uh, just to bring them out a bit more and uh, the last thing to do would be to add the uh, the thing at the back uh, I think that is uh, to help it um, I don't know what that is for probably to help it cross uh, like trenches uh, I would assume so it doesn't uh, just sink in so it doesn't fall into the trench uh, I would assume that's that's for I didn't really look it up um, it just came to my mind right now so that's pretty much uh, the extent of my knowledge so uh, okay we're gonna add some another row of stone slabs before we do that like so so on the bottom there then we're gonna add some trapdoors uh, to the top there, so they are there. Uh, they are on the bottom block uh, to the slabs. Okay, and now we have this sort of. I think it's a it's a ramp, I guess uh, I would call it. So anyway, uh, it gives it the the distinct look, um, and I think that's pretty cool. So anyway. That's pretty much our Renault F2, uh, F FT, sorry, uh, uh, light tank. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this one, and uh, we're gonna continue with the British Mark One uh, or the mother tank, as you might wanna call it. So this one is quite a bit different. Uh, it is considered to be a heavy tank. Uh, it has, let me just show you, it has threads going all around the um, the tank body, I guess. Um, and it has uh, guns on either side of the hull, which is sort of interesting. Uh, the Renault is sort of a design that has stuck around, I guess. Uh, the tanks still look like that, sort of like that, I guess. Um, still resemble it. Uh, this one, uh, on the other hand, uh, is completely alien, uh, so obviously these didn't stick around. Um, I think the biggest reason for that would be the complexity of the uh, threads going all the way around and the, the heft of them, the weight of them, uh, and also the uh, guns on the sides aren't uh, optimal, an optimal solution, I guess. Uh, so anyway, um, let's go ahead and build the British uh, Mark One tank as well. So first of all, we're gonna start with some more polished on the side, and this one's just gonna be pretty much all made out of it. Uh, and we're gonna lay down six blocks, a, a row of six, six blocks on the on the bottom here so uh, and then we're gonna have another row of six blocks uh, right over top of that but sort of um, one block over so we have this sort of shape and then we're gonna add some black wool to the sides like so uh, to the top we're gonna add some black carpet like so now of course on the real one uh, there is thread going underneath it is sort of not very visible and uh, the main reason I didn't include it here because I can't really um, I can't really have it uh, underneath these blocks so that's pretty much the reason but I think it doesn't look too bad uh, even without it so anyway uh, so that's pretty much uh, one side uh, and then we're gonna connect the whole thing uh, with some more polished on the side uh, so we're gonna have a sort of a bridge here. Also, uh, before we do that, we can uh, we can connect the whole thing with slabs on the bottom, like so. 
Okay, so now that done, now that we've done this, we can add some more uh, parts on the side of the front. So we're gonna make a sort of a slanted front. Um, of course, this is very useful for climbing. Uh, so we have this, uh, and uh, we're gonna add a sort of a wall to the back. So these are flush with the back row of the slabs, which is one block uh, behind the rear uh, most block of the threads, if that makes any sense. Uh, on the top, uh, we're gonna fill this in, just like so, and then we're gonna place down the other side of the thread, uh, so the other one, the other thread, like so. So, the same process as we did before, um, fill that in, and some more black wool on the on the front there. Uh, we're also gonna add some black carpet, uh, of course, to the top, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much our ba our basic uh, structure of a Mark One tank. We're gonna add some slabs to the top here, like so. We are also going to add the side uh, turrets, so they're gonna be sort of in the middle, like so. Uh, and we're gonna have some slabs on the bottom, like that. And then we're gonna have the same thing on the other side, of course, to cover, uh, they need to cover both sides of the tank. So, that. Uh, for the guns, of course, I'm gonna use the end rods, uh, just like I do with everything. I'm gonna place them on the uh, front block there. And there we go. That's pretty much our side turrets. Uh, we can add the the rear uh, the trolley thingy. I think that thing was also used uh, as a helping thing uh, for crossing trenches. Uh, so, sort of uh, enhances the the footprint of the tank, uh, the the length, I guess, uh, without affecting the weight too much. So we're gonna use some uh, trapdoors uh, to put them uh, sort of to connect uh, those two wheels. So we're just gonna place it, place the trapdoors like so. And then we're gonna have some slabs at the end. And then we're gonna have some black wool like so. And uh, some item frames as well. There we go. So I think that's pretty much it for the Renault FT and the British Mark 1 heavy tank. So these of course are very interesting examples of uh, early tank development and I always thought they were uh, quite cool. Uh, I don't really know as much uh, about them as I do uh, about the World War II tanks which I don't even know a lot about but anyway. I even I know even less about these things, but they are very interesting, uh, very interesting uh, engineering uh, achievements, I guess. And uh, I I wanted to look into them uh, for quite a while, so here I am. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did so, you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my other videos and uh, I will see you next time.